Cray every Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock. And if you have a prayer request, you just drop it in the chat, okay? And we will intercede for you. I have a list of prayer requests. And we're just going to hop on in this because the Spirit of God was moving this morning. I had a whole nother prayer conference before. And I had a prophetic word this morning. And I am just excited. I am really thrilled. So welcome, everybody, to our prayer power hour. <laughs> oh, my heart is so full. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we give you praise. God, we give you praise. Welcome to our Prayer Power Hour. Welcome, welcome on the Instagram. Welcome on the Zoom. Welcome on YouTube. I greet you all in the beautiful, majestic, powerful enchantment name of Jesus. The name that is above every name. The name that demons have to flee. I greet you in the mighty, mighty, mighty name. The wonderful name, the matchless name, the beautiful name the blood covering name of Jesus. I greet you all. Let us pray. We always do an opening prayer. If you're new, this is our prayer power hour. We pray every day of the week, Monday to Friday at 12 o'clock, just this 12 to one o'clock hour. It's never an hour, um, but we just pray within this hour um, for our young adults, our youth, our little ones, our children. Um, we just pray for each and every young person because there's a shift in the atmosphere. Our young adults are getting attacked um, and we have to stand in the gap and I am gladly doing that. So let us just usher in the spirit of God into our space, our car, our home, our church, our job, wherever you may be. We're just gonna just adopt an attitude of prayer right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we welcome you into this space. We welcome you into our homes. We welcome you into our hearts and our lives. And as we start up our prayer power hour, as we start praying for our young adults, we ask that you will be with us. Put a live coal upon our lips. Let the words that come out of our mouths be the words from the living God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Welcome, April. Um, I thank God for you. If you are not aware, we read a portion of the God's word. Jesus is the word made flesh. And our young adults are going to hear the word of God every time we come on this live. Okay. So we're in the book of 1 Samuel. And we've been in 1 Samuel for a while. Um, but we're at 1 Samuel chapter 3. Here is where God is using the voice of Samuel. God will use someone else, someone who's younger than you, someone who doesn't have the same authority and position as you, because Eli was the high priest. He was the main man in charge. And yet still, God used a little boy, Samuel, to deliver a message to Eli, because he, Eli's children had sinned against God. And so... We see where Samuel's mother wasn't able to have a baby. Samuel's mother was finally able to have a baby. She named her baby Samuel and gave him to Eli because she was returning her. She was fulfilling her promise. She's returning the gift that God had blessed her back to him. So we're in 1 Samuel chapter 3. And the Lord was calling Samuel. This is what we read yesterday. Samuel, Samuel, he would go to Eli. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. Samuel, he would run to Eli. Eli would say, I didn't call you, go back to bed. Eli said, the next time you hear that voice, it is the voice of the Lord. Say, speak, Lord, for your servant hear it. And God said, he, the Bible said that God stood in his room. God was in Samuel's room. This is so amazing. The Lord came and stood, verse 10, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10. The Lord came and stood and called as at other times. So 
I'm going to read what God said unto Samuel. And then we're just going to keep it moving. We're just going to keep it moving because we got to get into the prayer. Okay. So the Bible says, and the Lord said unto Samuel, behold, I will do a thing in Israel at which both the ears of everyone that heareth it shall tingle. In that day, I will perform against Eli all things which I have spoken concerning his house. When I begin, I will also make an end, for I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth, because his sons made themselves vile, and he restrained them not. This is why if you have a child, you need to correct your child, okay? He restrained them not. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. This is powerful. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop here because it's too much. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit just falling over me right now. And I just wanna stop and explain that. I need you to understand what I'm talking about, okay? Young adults, we're gonna get into it together. The Bible literally tells um, says that God spoke to Samuel. Samuel was a deliverer. When somebody is delivering a prophetic word over your life, okay? When God is delivering a prophetic word over your life, welcome everybody joining. Welcome, welcome. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Praise God. When God is speaking through a messenger, don't hate the messenger, accept the message. As young adults, sometimes we don't want to hear messages from other people. We don't want to hear what nobody got to say. We don't want to hear what, we, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. But God said that the very ears, both ears, both ears of everybody that hears the message that I'm about to deliver unto the house of Eli, you need to understand that sometimes you may have a grandparent, a great grandparent, a great, great, great grandparent that did something and you're suffering because of it. The Bible tells us that the entire house of Eli, his entire line is going to suffer because of what he did, which was not chastised not rebuke, not uh, uh, correct his children. His sons destroyed the lineage of the family. The Bible said, for I have told him that I will judge his house forever. And here is the, the like the hammer now. This is the hammer. Stay with me. I'm just going to get to this part and then we're just going to start interceding. So if you have a prayer request, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'm going to get to this. I'm going to start praying right after I deliver this part. Okay. Just hold on a second. The Bible says in verse 14, and, I, and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, and I'm hopping off of it now. I'm hopping off of it now. Okay. Verse 14 says, welcome, welcome to the prayer power hour, praise God, praise God, we just have some difficulty on the Zoom, what's happening, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Jesus. And therefore, I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. I don't know if you understand what the Bible is trying to say. 
But back then, the only way that your sin would be removed is that you would get an offering, you would get a lamb, you would get a dove, whatever your bank account could afford, you would get a calf, you would get a kid, you would get something that was pure. You would bring it to the to the to the door, the, the steps of the temple. You would put your sin upon this animal. You would sacrifice the animal. The priest would collect some of the the Bible said that God said no sacrifice. No offering, nothing. They can't bring nothing, nothing, nothing. You cannot bring anything that would take away this. You, your house can't purge. Your house can't clean. The house of Eli will never be purged with any sacrifice. You can bring no offering to God. He will not accept it forever. Forever. Young adults, you are having prophets that are going to rise up in our day and age. There are men and women that are being filled with the apostolic word. Okay, the Bible tells us that when the when the children of Israel were going out and the, the prophet Saul became a prophet, he became Paul. He started preaching to the prophets at one point. Even before Jesus was dying, he had 70 men, disciples just coming up to do the word of God. The Bible tells us that in the end, you will have the older men that are dreaming dreams and the younger men who are prophesying. You will have young adults that are going to be raised up to prophesy. You are going to prophesy. Let God not send somebody to you and your household with a prophecy like this. Let it not be so. Let it not be so that there is something so sinful that you could have done that even your entire, your entire house will be removed from the presence of God. Be careful. You're in college, you're having sex, you're running around. Be careful. The Bible tells us that Hophni and Phineas were having sex with the women at the door of the church. Be careful. They were stealing the offerings that the Israelites were bringing to offer before God. Be careful. Young people, be careful of the things that you're doing. Be careful. We're going to start praying. I have some prayer requests. If you are here, welcome to um, the Prayer Power Hour. We always start off Monday to Friday, 12 o'clock with the word from the Lord. And the word of the Lord will not return unto him void, praise the Lord. So we are going to encourage you right now, if you have a prayer request for you, yourself, a loved one, even if it's an um, unspoken prayer request, just drop it in the comments. I have an unspoken prayer request, and I'm going to go pray you up. I had some prayer requests that I received earlier. Earlier today, I had some prayer requests that I received an hour ago. Um, there's an attack in the children's ministry in our churches, the children. The, you know, I had a very disturbing um, revelation earlier. Um, you know, uh, I work in healthcare, and over and over for the last few weeks, I've been having um, patients that have been um, molested, raped from four or five years old. They are being attacked. Our children are being attacked. Our young adults, they're off of college. You know, they're lonely. They're alone. They're turning. They, they're not surrounded by their prayer mothers. And, you know, they, they're not surrounded by even their physical mother here in the physical realm. They, they you know, their spiritual mother, their prayer mothers. So we, we, we are going to pray for them right now. And I'm going to call the blessings of the Lord over their life. Father God, we thank you for the word. We've been reading 1 Samuel chapter 3. We thank you for the word of God. We thank you that you have showed us that even as young adults, it doesn't matter how young we could be. You showed us how Eli was a high priest and you took a child, oh God, to deliver a message to the man of God. I pray, oh God, that we will be deliverers of messages from the mouth of God. God, we will be your mouthpiece. God, we will speak the word. We will speak prophecies over to 
the people. We pray, oh God, that the apostolic message will rise up in the young adult of today. We pray, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will endow us with power from on high. Let your word not return to you void. Oh God, let the harvest be ready and we will be able to bring forth good fruit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. There is something going on. We are praying and the devil is not happy because everything is going crazy with this social media. Hold on a second. We rebuke you, Satan. This thing is acting up so bad. That's how I know something is going to happen in the spiritual realm. And I'm going to break it off right now in the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. I will never forget this day. I can tell you that. If you guys are seeing me on Instagram, drop a comment. Hold on. Some, let me see. I have something here in the chat. Prayers for baby Jacqueline. Okay, I will pray for her. I will pray for her. Hold on. There's something going on with Instagram. Okay, let's see what's going on with Instagram now. Devil, you have already lost. Jesus has already been raised from the dead. You have already been defeated. You are dead. Let me tell you something. I have never seen so many crazy things happening. I don't know what is going on, but the blood of Jesus, praise God, because I, I'm going to tell you something. When you start. I can't even tell y'all the thing that I've been doing uh, outside of this one hour, but my eyes are opening and I'm praying and I, I'm going to just start praying right now. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, as I'm about to intercede for your young adults, we want to thank you that you have already defeated the devil. You have already defeated. You have already succeeded. You have already raised from the dead. You have already entered into the most holy place. You did it. And we thank you, Jesus. And I'm about to intercede for these young people. Oh, God, this war is not with flesh and blood. Oh, God, but against principalities and darkness and rulers in high places. But, oh, God, you will tear down those high places in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We're about to get started. We're about to get started with this prayer because the devil is trying to attack this platform and it will not work. You, you, he could keep cutting it off. Start an interruption. I don't care what he do. We are going to get restarted. I don't care what he tries. No weapon formed against this platform will prosper. I'm going to tell you that right now. I fast and pray every day for this platform before I get on here. Fool, don't touch my mouth, okay? So I'm going to keep fasting and praying because we're about to break some chains in this spiritual realm. Come on, somebody. We're about to do some type of miracle. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it. Can no devil take my praise? Oh, God, you are worthy. Hallelujah. We want to get this thing going. I'm so excited. It means I'm doing something right. It means I'm doing something right. He annoyed with me. He tired of me. But that's all right. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep praying. Let's go. I have some prayer requests and I have a praise report. 
We have a young woman who was struggling with her immigration issue. She has a job interview. I already told her that that job is hers. Amen. I already told her that the job belongs to her. So we want to give God glory. We want to give God thanks because the devil is not about to win. He is not even welcome in this place. Okay, let's get into it. Father God, we thank you for sharing. We thank you, oh God, that you are the only true and living God. We bow before you, Jesus. We, uh, we, we rejoice in knowing that we have a relationship with you. Oh God, this woman has just been testifying over and over again, over and over again. You just kept pouring out your oil and your daughter. You just kept pouring out your praise and your blessings over your daughter. She wasn't even working since 2019, oh God, but you made a way, Jesus. She had a job interview today and the job is already done. It is hers, oh God. She is going to walk into a six-figure job in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory in this place, hallelujah. We give you praise in this place. Oh God, she didn't have a green card, you gave it to her. We give you glory in this place. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. No judge, no ruler, oh God. You are Jehovah Jireh. You provided everything every need. Imagine your daughter wasn't working for three, four years, oh God, but your grace was sufficient, hallelujah. Your grace and your mercy, hallelujah. She was never hungry, hallelujah. She didn't have to beg nobody, hallelujah. You put her in a house, oh God, not a basement, not an apartment, oh God, but you bought her a house, hallelujah. Oh God, is there anything impossible to you? Father God, she was asking me for a job, Oh God, the job is already hers. We're not even asking, oh God, because you already granted her favor and mercy. It has been following her. We give you glory. We thank you for the job in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. You guys, so many technical difficulties happening on this thing today. But you know what? God is good. It is only because we're doing something good. The devil is trying to interrupt. But praise God, we have a prayer request for baby Jacqueline. She's only two years old. I told you the devil is attacking our children. The devil is attacking our children. She's two years old with an infection in her respiratory system. Father God, we bring Jacqueline before you. This little girl, oh God, is only two years old. Her lungs and her heart, you will develop them in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah Rapha, you will move along her alveoli. You will move in the bronchioles. You will move, oh God, in her trachea. Father God, your spirit, your healing spirit, oh God, will move even in the very cell of her body. Every cell, in the, even in the nucleus of the cell, you will remove any mucus, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, she won't need a respirator. She won't need a CPAP that machine. She won't need a nebulizer because when you do something, oh God, in Genesis chapter one, you said you created the earth and it was good. Father God, when she's only about two years old, when she was born, oh God, she was made perfection in her mother's womb. I give you glory for Jacqueline. Oh God, if there's any curse along this young lady through the bloodline, if it passed through the umbilical cord, if it came and was activated in the vaginal canal, oh God, you will break that thing in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory in this place. Oh God, you are worthy. This child is but a baby lamb and you said to suffer the children to come unto you. Oh God, you will do a perfect thing in her life because you want her to be in good health. And we thank you for a good health report. We thank you for the discharge from the hospital. We thank you for the reduction of the medications in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I have a request for a Yannick. Yannick is struggling with her decision to serve you, oh God. She's saying yes to you, Father God. I give you glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. What a mighty God. You said the heavens rejoice when one soul, oh God, is turned back to you. Father God, I thank you for Yannick. You will anoint her, oh God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Oh God, she works in Connecticut in the finance system. Oh God, they are racist set of people. But Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, she's been saying how they've been treating her differently. She's been saying how 
Black people get treated differently when they get over there. But oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will open up doors and windows, oh God, so that her name will be called in the in the storerooms. Her name will be called in boardrooms. Her name will be called in the shows. Her name will be called in the vault. Her name will be called, oh God, because your name, the name of Jesus, precedes the name Yannick. I give you glory in this place. I give you glory for her baptism. I give you glory for her communion. I give you glory in this place for your daughter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome to the prayer power hour where we are interceding for our young adults. I'm checking off this list, y'all. I got a prayer list here. <clears throat> we had a prayer request, oh God, for Sister Prim from Zimbabwe. She lives in Africa, a beautiful continent with beautiful people. Father God, you are the same God in Zimbabwe. You are the same God in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You are the same God in Trinidad. You are the same God in New York. You are the same God in Jamaica. God, you are omnipresent. That means that we could be anywhere, oh God, above and below the earth, and you will be with us. Father God, your daughter is complaining about chest. Pain. Father God, this is not a good sign. Oh God, have mercy. She told me, oh God, that she has an appointment with the doctor. May the man of God that will touch her body be of the body of Christ. Oh God, may he fear evil and shun it. Oh God, may he fall frustrated before you, Jesus, and be humble. Oh God, may he seek after you. May the doctor that she sees, male or female, oh God, that there will be an anointed man or woman of God. We are asking Jehovah Rapha that you he will heal her. Oh God, we are claiming Sir John 1 verse 2. Healing over your daughter. James 5 14. Healing over your daughter. Her heart be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You will renew the cells of her heart. The other organs in the body, they can make new cells. But the heart and the brain, oh God, what she was given at birth is all that she will have. Oh God, you will mark her heart. When Cain killed Abel Jesus, you had to mark Cain so that others wouldn't kill him. I I am asking you, Jesus, that you will mark Prince Heart in Zimbabwe so that the devil doesn't try to take her out. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory for the praise report. We give you glory for the renewing of her heart. We give you glory for the renewing of her mind. We give you glory that you will remember Prim in Zimbabwe in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. I have a request for Antonia and Camila. So let's pray for Antonia. They're asking for favor. Father God, you said that grace and mercy will follow your children. And we present Antonia before you. Father God, they're asking that she will have favor with her directors. Oh God, you are the one true director. Any director is just a title. They are just a man. The same blood that runs in Antonia is the same blood that runs in the director. Oh God, you tear down kings and you raise up kingdoms. Father God, let her have favor with that director. She too will become a director. Father God, we give you glory for Antonia. We give you glory for the door that you will open up for her. You will open it wide, oh God, that she doesn't have to squeeze her way in. You will open up tributaries of financial blessings to flow into your daughter's life. Oh God, grace and mercy will follow her. She will have favor with man, woman, and child. She will have favor with director, CEO, and the janitor. She will have favor. Jesus, favor will follow your daughter. Favor will follow her when she walks. Favor will precede her. Favor will anoint her. Favor will walk beside her. Favor will be behind her. When she leaves the room, oh God, the favor of Antonia will linger with the presence of those in authority. And we thank you for the favor in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I have a request of the children's ministry director in our conference. She is praying for the children. The children are getting confused. The children are talking about they don't know who they are. The children are talking about what they don't believe. The children, the devil is trying to take your child, but the blood of Jesus be upon our children. Father God, I present Michelle before you. Oh God, she has been interceding and asked for prayer to raise up for the children of our church. Oh God, we are the church. 
We are the body of Christ. It doesn't matter what organization we go to. We are calling upon the name of Jesus. Whether we're SDA or Kojic, whether we're Church in Christ, oh God, it don't matter. When we call upon the name of Jesus, strongholds will get taken down. Oh God, have mercy upon your children. The children are getting raped. The children are getting molested. The children are getting abused. They're being sex trafficked. The children are coming in suicide. Oh God, Pastor Tamelia's son committed suicide, Jesus. We're asking, oh God, that depression leave your children. Confusion leave your children. Anxiety will leave your children. Oh God, the very door that your children are. Oh God, it will move from before the blood of the lamb be upon the door for the children are in college. I'm calling them by name. Jahara, I'm calling Carlos. I'm calling Nathaniel. I'm calling Myoa. I am calling them Jesus. I am calling on the blood of Jesus. Oh God, the blood will never lose its power. The blood, the blood, the blood. The demons from hell cannot prevail against the blood. Oh God, when you woke up, oh God, after shedding that blood, oh God, you rose up triumphant, oh God. No armored guard could not hold you down in that grave. No stone could not hold you down in that grave. But the blood of Jesus, the blood will never lose its power. Oh God, rain down your blood upon your children in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, these children are walking around to and fro with the demons. Oh God, they are but one, oh God, the one loin that you have provided unto their mother, the one seed that she has brought forth. Oh God, we're asking that the children that have opened up the wounds of their mother, oh God, that you will anoint them, oh God, you will mark that child, oh God, for protection, the same way you mark Cain for protection, even after he killed Abel, oh God, you will protect these children, Father God, we're asking for deliverance from all evil, oh God, that's that they're praying to the universe, Jesus have mercy. Oh God, they're praying to the universe. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. They're praying to the sun. They're praying to the stars. They're charging crystals. Oh God, in the moon, Jesus. They are setting up altars. Oh God, they're smoking things that have been touched by a witch or a warlock. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will hold out your hands of protection over these children. You will break that covenant that they have made. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, loose that thing, oh God, loose it in earth, oh God, you said whatever is loosed in heaven, Jesus, we command, oh God, that it will be loosed here on earth, oh God, I will decree a thing, and it will be established in this world, we pray in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 <clears throat> if you know what was good for you, you will put your prayer request in the comments so I can pray for you or any child that you know. There is something going on right now. The Holy Spirit is just moving in this place. I never see so much trouble to get this platform started up today. This thing is going out. The, the, the thing is dying. Everything, everything is happening. You better put your prayer request in. The blood of Jesus be upon our children. Oh God, we present Camila before you. She's your daughter and she has sustained the injury to her foot. Oh God, we wanna thank you that she even has the ability to feel pain. Oh God, because that means her nerves she's working. Her central nervous system is working. Oh God, the nerves that you have placed in her foot have been activated. Oh God, we thank you for the activation of the nerves in her foot. Even in the pain, oh God, we give you praise. Oh God, Job said that. That blessed is the name of the Lord. You give and you take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh God, you give and you take it away. Oh God, you provided her with a foot. There are children who were born without a foot. There are children who had a foot amputated. But oh God, she only has an injury. And we give you praise. Oh God, we thank you for the healing. We thank you for the restoration. Because oh God, if she has faith as small as a mustard seed, right now, oh God, 
she will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for Camilla. We thank you for the breakthrough. We thank you that you that you caused something to happen to her body that she couldn't control, that she had to call on the name of the Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We pray, oh God, that healing and restoration. Her foot will be healed even better than before it was injured. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Father God, we present the son of Yasherim before you. She called him by name. His name is Tyreek and her unborn child. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bring this woman before you. I know this woman. Father God, she has labored with this child since she was young. This is the seed that opened up her womb to be a mother. Father God, you said that there is a, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. There is a special blessing, oh God, upon the firstborn child. You're going to pour that thing out over this boy's life in the mighty name of Jesus. She has called him by name, oh God. We are asking in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, the blessing that followed Israel. Oh God, the blessing when his name was Jacob. Oh God, he blessed Isaac. Blessed, he was blessed, he was blessed until Esau didn't have any blessing. Jesus, there was nothing left for him, oh God. You will bless her son in the mighty name of Jesus. He will be blessed. His spirit will be blessed. His mind will be blessed. His mouth will be blessed. His heart will be blessed. His bowels will be blessed. His loins will be blessed. His feet will be blessed. His hands will be blessed. Oh God, anybody that submitted a curse upon this boy, oh God, it will reverse upon him a blessing. Oh God, that you will bless his going out. You will bless his coming in. Every time he opens up the door, oh God, he is walking into a blessing. We command it in the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no charge over this child. Oh God, we give you glory. She's pregnant. Hallelujah. Oh God, what a mighty God we serve. She has wanted a child with her husband and we give you praise. Oh God, you are not slack concerning your promise. Oh God, you said that she is born. Oh God, she is a woman, the bearer of all of all fruit. Oh God, a descendant of Eve. I pronounce a blessing upon Yasherin, upon her unborn child. Oh God, if anybody has spoken any ill will among this upon your daughter let it be like Haman oh God who spoke bad <coughs> who spoke bad about Esther's um uncle I pray oh God in the mighty name of Jesus that any curse that they have set upon her oh God any gallow that they are building for her Jesus they themselves will be hung up on it almighty warrior and prince of peace we pray for every chromosome in this unborn child to be perfect oh God name of Jesus. We pray for every food in her mouth will nourish this child. In the mighty name of Jesus, the umbilical cord will be blessed. Oh God, blessings will flow through Yasherin and present upon her child. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, every organ will be developed. In the mighty name of Jesus, this child will come forth speaking, oh God, under the blood of the Lamb. The anointing will fall upon her. Let her be like Mary and Elizabeth, that the Holy Spirit, oh God, will cause that child to leap in her womb in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, pour out your spirit, pour out your oil upon this child. Oh God, this child will be blessed. This seed in her body is blessed. Oh God, her house is blessed. Her husband is blessed. Her job is blessed. Oh God, she is a blessing. Oh God, tributaries of blessing will flow into her life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, we give you glory. Okay, Miss Thompson, <clears throat> prayer request. The devil has really been attacking me physically. I have a wound that would not heal. Mm. Bladder stones and pelvic cellulitis, Jesus. Okay. I'm going to encourage you 
Sister Thompson, I too had a sickness that the doctors could not, but God, but God healed me. Well, God healed me. I had to pray and fast. Mark 9, 28 and 29 tells us that the, that the disciples couldn't cast out this demon. Oh God, and the Bible tells us that some things, some things, oh God, some things cannot come out, but by praying and fasting. I present Father God, Regina Thompson before you. Oh God, we are calling her and every woman that is like her, by name, every woman, oh God, every woman, oh God. The Bible tells us in Mark chapter five, oh God, that there was a woman. She didn't even have a name. She had an issue. We don't know if it was PCOS, endometriosis. We don't know what she had, but the Bible tells us that she was bleeding and the doctors couldn't heal her. Here we have your daughter. Oh God, the doctors can't heal her. Kidney stone, she can't be healed. Cellulitis, she can't be healed. Pelvic pain, she can't be healed. You will heal her because you can do it. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah Rapha, we're asking, oh God, that you will surround your daughter. Oh God, from the crown of her head, oh God, to the very sole of her feet. We're asking, oh God, that cellulitis be healed. Kidney stones be healed. Pel pain be healed, bladder problems be healed. You are the great physician. There is no doctor like Dr. Jesus. And for that, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Worthy is the name of the Lord. Oh God, we have seen where you've healed cancer. We've seen where you've healed back pain. We've seen where you've healed joint pain. We've seen people get up out of wheelchairs. We've seen people that were lame walk again. People with a cane or on marathons. Father God, the God of Jehovah, the one true living God, the God that commanded the sun to stand still, the God who parted the Red Sea, the God that healed me, Jesus. We are asking, oh God, that you heal your daughter. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. If there is a curse upon this woman's life, oh God, oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will loose that chain in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus, in spirit and in truth. We worship you, oh God, the demons of sickness, the demons of depression, the demons of fear, of anxiety. Oh God, the demons of anger, the demons of tiredness, oh God, flee from before your daughter in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, that you will establish a thing and it will be done. Hallelujah, we thank you for the healing. In the name of Jesus, Woo! hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We give you glory in this place, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the children's ministry director of the Co-op City Church. I know this woman. I spoke to this woman this morning. <laughs> Father God, in the name of Jesus, we're praising AD before you. We are calling her by initials. I'm asking, oh God, that you will bless this woman. You will bless her husband. Oh God, you said your seed is blessed, your money is blessed. Numbers chapter six, oh God. In Numbers chapter six, oh God, you said unto Moses, tell Aaron that I will bless the children of Israel. I will bless them with peace. I will bless them with love. I will bless them with your son. I will bless them with And you did it. You blessed them, oh God, that even now we're walking in that blessing thousands of years later. You will bless this woman in the name of Jesus. You will bless her son, oh God. You will bless her house. You will bless her door and her apartment. You will bless her job. Her money will be blessed. Even her tithes and offerings is blessed. Hallelujah. Help her not to get discouraged, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We give you glory for her. She is a beautiful woman, beautiful in physical attributes, beautiful in her spirit, oh God. Be with her, endow her, Jesus, with the power from on high. Oh God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless her, we pray in Jesus' name. <clears throat> 
In the name of Jesus, we present Mr. Broomfield. He has cancer. Oh God, every cancer or cell that is in this man's body. I have already interceded privately for this man, but oh God, publicly, I ask that you touch him. He's getting ready to be discharged. Oh God, let every nurse, janitor, dietitian, every CNA, PCT, monitor tech, every EKG specialist, everybody that is coming into that hospital room, they will even walk into a blessing because he is there. Kidneys be healed. There's a kidney situation going on with your children, Father God. He's in green Australia, but oh God, even the very, the very dead person, oh God, Martha said unto you, oh God, even now that my brother is dead, if it was your will, Jesus, you would have saved him. But you told her that even now you would do it. And you raised Lazarus from the dead. Even a body that was not working, oh God. You commanded it to move and operate. You commanded life, oh God, into a dead body. You will command life flow out into Sister Thompson, into this brother Broomfield's body, into the organs. They're both having kidney problems, oh God. Touch even the renal glands. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory in this place. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Please pray for Mel need help. Pray for me. Okay. Into financially and her love life. Father God, we present Yannick before you. She is such a beautiful daughter of Zion. Father God, we are asking that you, you just touch her. There's something going on with her. Men come and they hurt her. They abuse her. She is a precious daughter of Zion. She is the apple of your eye. She is everything to you. She is beautiful. Beauty as she's walking. Beauty in her voice. Oh God, she look good. What is it, Jesus? Why is it that she's having a problem at the problem? Oh God, you will lose the daughter from the shackles binding her in this department. Oh God, have mercy upon your daughter. What is it? Oh God, she will fast and pray. She's asking for prayer for her finances. Oh God, she's one of the, the hosts on the major radio show. Oh God, that you will pour out, oh God, your oil over that radio station. Pour Pour out your oil over her microphone, your oil over her interviews, your oil over the celebrities that she's speaking to. Oh, God, she shouldn't have no financial problems. She's talking to Olympian winners, gold medalists. Oh, God, she's walking and talking in rooms with champions. Oh, God, you are the champion of her finances. I have seen it, Jesus. She's interviewing star after star after star. She should not be lacking, oh God. You don't slack containing your promises of your children. Hallelujah, bless her. Endow her, oh God. Open up the windows of heaven as she is faithful unto you, oh God. We're asking you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that you will be with Yannick. She's asking, oh God, for prayer for her finances. Oh God, she's tired. 30 years old, oh gosh, she can't afford anything. 30, 30, 30, 30, going on. 30, just had a birthday, gonna be 31, oh God. She's in her Jesus year. This is when you started your ministry. We are only 30 years old. You will do something supernatural in her life that she will repent, oh God, and give her heart to you. Oh God, she will fast and pray, oh God. She will seek after righteousness. She's been moving, oh God, with the stars of this land. Every Olympian, she has interviewed them. Every DJ, every rising star, she's interviewed Grammy Award winners. But oh God, where is her, where is her, her endowment? Every young adult that they're entertaining these celebrities of this world. Oh God, but she's not wrestling against flesh and blood. Her riches is not made up, laid up here on this earth. Her riches, oh God, should be laid up in heaven and we give you glory. We thank you, oh God, that for the testimony that she's about to produce, oh God. We are thanking you on this Tuesday. We got a thankful Tuesday today and we give you glory in this place in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Father God, we present Melissa before you. She is a friend. She is a true friend. Father God, it is her birthday today. She has turned 31 years old. Oh God, we give you glory for safety and for protection. Oh God, the devil is after this woman. She's suffering from vertigo, falling down all over the place. She is but 30 years old. Oh God, today she has turned 31. Oh God, the devil is trying to attack your daughter. She's falling down, almost hitting her head. The devil is trying to kill her oh god the devil is trying to kill this family He's trying to kill this family, but we pray a border of protection around her. Oh God, her brother-in-law is missing. Don went to Haiti to some voodoo doctor missing. The man is missing, oh God. He is missing, Jesus. But the blood of Jesus be over your family, oh God. Let the gates of hell not prevail against this family. Oh God, have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Vertigo will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Vision problems will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Back pain will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear, you have to flee from this family in the mighty name of Jesus. Death, you have to go in the mighty name of Jesus. We break every covenant that was joined in Haiti. Oh God, when this man done went to a voodoo doctor, oh God, we want to break it off of this family in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Woo. We give you glory in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, my God. Neomera Obona, near Roma, near Orma, Niorma, I don't know. Obona, this is the daughter of two elders in the church. Neoma. <coughs> Nioma? Neoma. Neoma, okay. Father God, we present Neoma Obona before you. She's away at college. She's the daughter of Dr. Ogbona. He's an elder in the church. We want to give you glory for a family that ministers and works in the vineyard of the Lord. We want to thank you, oh God, that they don't get tired. I see the, Dr. Ogbona every Wednesday night. You know, he's 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 helping out elder elder um elder uh, Jonas. He, he, he's praying every time. He's willing to teach and preach. He he just has a good time with his wife and they're both healing in the, in the medical field, oh God, and they're trying to heal in the spiritual field, oh God. Be with their daughter. Be with their sons. They have a son too. The wife was crying out for her son. Be with the children of that family. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove a heart of stone, oh God, and give them a heart of flesh. We ask, oh God, that they will meditate on the word of God. Oh God, headaches be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, oh Lord, that they're seeking a higher education, but oh God, let them seek a higher relationship with you. We thank you for every college student that may be even watching this live as they're going through midterms. J Jahara told me this morning, I called her, I texted her, oh God, she said she was doing a midterm. Oh God, bless her. Bless every child that's doing an exam in the mighty name of Jesus. From pre-K to college, grad school, we ask for God that you cover them. Even a nurse, oh God, we got to do remedial studies for our nursing to maintain our license. Be with them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Every doctor, every janitor, every entrepreneur that's taking a course. Us. Oh God, endow your children as they try to elevate themselves. Oh God, as they elevate themselves financially, educationally. Oh God, help them to endow themselves in elevating the spirit of God. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. 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 The spirit is moving. The 
the spirit is moving. We give you glory, Father God. We give you glory. Father God, be with my husband and every woman that has a husband, every young woman that has a husband. I present our husband before you because the devil is trying to attack my husband, but he will not in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, our husbands will work and they will get their paycheck in the name of Jesus. Our husbands will pray, oh God, and demons will have to flee from before their wives in the mighty name of Jesus. Our husbands, oh God, will, will, will love us. Our husbands, oh God, will have love only for us. Our husbands, oh God, I pray for the husbands who have not yet met their wife. Oh God, I pray for the husbands who have met their wife and have not married them. Oh God, because you said he who findeth a wife. Oh God, you said in your word where he finds the wife. It didn't say, oh God, where he married her, Father God. Where he finds her, oh God, he findeth a good thing. I cover them, oh God, under the blood of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that this prayer, oh God, will go forth. Oh God, that rooms will open up for these husbands. Ways will be made for these husbands. Doors will be open for these husbands. Gates, oh hell, oh hell will not prevail against our husband. Immigration crisis, oh God, will be dismissed from before our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, our husbands will walk, oh God, and their shadows, oh God, will heal people. We are praying, oh God, for a perfect word to fall upon our husbands. Oh God, that demons of hell will not prevail against our husbands. Our husbands will walk through the fire, oh God, and they will not be burned. Our husbands will walk through the waters, Jesus, and they will not overflow. Oh God, speak, Lord, to our husbands because they are listening in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I give you glory in this place. I give you glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. I don't see any other prayer requests. And we are about to move out. This was a powerful prayer power hour. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to, it's for the, yes, we pray for the students. Amen. Is there any other prayer requests? Father God, we thank you for everyone that has watched this live. We thank you for everyone that is watching the replay. Oh God, may you move forth in that house. May a spiritual broom, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, sweep that house. Oh God, anything that is not let God be torn down in that house, any altar that was erected in no other name but the name of Jesus be broken down in the name of Jesus. Father God, let thy will be done in the life of every person watching this message. We are asking that grace and mercy will follow them. Oh God, that demons flee from before them. The blood of the lamb be upon their forehead and their doorpost. Oh God, angel of death and destruction has to pass over in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you glory. I give you praise for the miracles that you're about to do. Oh God, the children that can't walk will rise. Oh God, the children that are dumb will speak. Oh God, they will walk into the presence of the holy God. We give you glory in this place. Father God, that parents will mend relationships with their child. Hallelujah. Generational curses will be broken down. We thank you, oh God, and we praise you. Let the move of God work out in this life. Oh God, that the children will stop prophesying. Oh God, the children, oh God, will dream dreams. The children, oh God, will raise up a standard against the devil. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, they will tear down idols. Oh God, they will tear down strongholds. I pray over our young adults. Oh God, when they speak the fire that fell down on Mount Carmel, when Elisha called upon the name of the Lord, oh God, it will fall from the fire. They will fall from the mouth of your children. It will burn up any iniquity in any place where they reside. Oh God, any witch your warlock that is manifesting a curse against your children. Oh God, you will bind it in the name of Jesus. We give you glory in this place. Woo! We give you glory. Hallelujah. Okay. We pray for Jolene in the name of Jesus who is battling a demon of alcoholism. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> She is drinking spirits, oh God. Oh God, but the spirit of the living God will fall afresh on Jolene in the name of Jesus. The spirit of God will move through her body from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Oh God, may the alcohol not taste good anymore to her in the name of Jesus, to her and every young adult that has now developed a drinking problem in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Move forth, oh God fresh wind, fresh oil, pour out your spirit, oh God, for such a time as this. We pray for the spirit of confusion, alcoholism, drug abuse, edibles, oh God, sexual immorality, confusion, LBGTQFG, I don't care what it is, oh God, it will flee from before your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Move in this place. Woo!
Move in this place. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Jeremiah 30, verse 17, that he will restore your health unto you. Oh God, Psalms 49, 15, that he will redeem unto you. Psalm 72, verse 14, Jeremiah 31, 11 or 14, Deuteronomy 32, verse 6, Job 29, verse 6, Luke 10, verse 11, 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 31, over your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, may peace be with you. Go with grace, go with peace. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory. In this place, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name.